May 21st, 2008. I'm Brad Fallon with the Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes. Today, the signs of summer are here. To software geeks, the arrival of summer can only mean one thing. Google's Summer of Code returns. Now in its fourth year, Google is expecting more than 1,100 students and 175 different open source projects to take part in the festivities. In today's edition of the Free Line, we cover four projects that are choosing to spend their summer with Google. Anyone who's taken a high school journalism class is familiar with the desktop publishing app, Cork Express. It's versatile, it's powerful, and it's as easy to use as a Boeing 737. For an easier alternative, try Scribus. While it contains most of the tools that Quark Express does, Scribus is one thing the name brand competition is not user-friendly. Scribus is available for most major operating systems, and it's free. As many loyal viewers of the Freeline know, OpenOffice is a great alternative to the big-name word processing suites produced by Microsoft and Apple. But what if you want an alternative to the alternative? If this is the case, then AbbaWord is for you. AbbaWord does one thing, word processing, but it does it well. Small, lightweight, and very easy to use, AbbaWord is a good choice for those who dislike OpenOffice but loathe the competition even more. And by the way, AbbaWord was used in the creation of today's Freeline report. Next up, being creative is great and all, but what if you just want to leave the house? Well, don't worry. Open source programmers have that covered as well. OpenStreetMap is kind of like Google Maps and operates under a Creative Commons license. This guide is actually created by its users. Armed with everything from GPS devices to pen and paper, participants in the project track, photograph, and write about everything they come across. These journeys, in turn, are added to the OpenStreetMap database. And finally, if you like the idea of unwinding and have a few of those old LucasArts point-and-click adventure games lying around, then ScumVM is certainly for you. Created by uTorrent creator Ludwig Strigius, ScumVM is intended to breathe new life into the forgotten classics like Day of the Tentacle and I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Perhaps the best part is that it will run on most anything, from Windows XP to the iPhone. But before you run off to play Monkey Island 3, a word of warning. While the emulator might be free, most of the games are not. Go to Scum for a world-class interpreter, but go to thrift stores or eBay for the games themselves. That's it for today. I'm Brad Fallon. We'll see you tomorrow. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.